Hello there, so today I'm getting the train down to London because I have a photo shoot there tomorrow. I'm waiting for my Nana to come pick me up. She's gonna drop me off at the station and then I'll be on my way. I'm only staying there for one night so I'm packing extremely light, so let's see what I'm bringing. So this is it, a backpack with a toiletries bag, two spare changes of clothes, headphones, and a phone charger. I've always preferred always using just a backpack if I'm traveling because it's so much easier. My Nana is at the end of the road in the blue car waiting. And then off to London and it is the most lovely day. It's definitely tank top weather. Every day is tank top weather at the moment, so I'm happy about that. Oh, I hope that's not my train. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for picking me up. So I've now been dropped off at the station. I am 45 minutes early and I'm not too sure what to do with myself. And I mean, it's not a bad day for it to get some light sunburn on the face before a photo shoot. I'm just joking. I've started wearing sunscreen every single day now because I'm an old boy and I don't want wrinkles. So I'm taking care of myself. Wimbledon's also on, I guess. And now I just need to get to the metro, to the underground, sorry, not the metro, to uh, my hotel and then get some food. So I've arrived at my hotel room, which is an interesting hotel room. I mean, it it's fine, but I'm gonna show you my view. There's that. The best thing about this hotel, however, is that there is a Nando's close by and I'm very hungry. So, let's go get a Nando's. So, I'm in a place called Shepherd's Bush. I've not been here before. It's all right. I'm not the biggest fan of London in general, but, and I'm especially happy to be here on a photo shoot, so. Okay, I'm awake. I slept pretty good, actually. Uh, last night, I watched Love Island in bed on the nice little television in here. So that was fun. And then I went to sleep about 10 p.m., which for me is like crazy early, actually. Like, I have I've, i don't think I've fallen asleep before 11 p.m. in the past five years. I just can't do it. I have trouble sleeping, but... I slept really good last night. So yeah, I'm getting the bus and then on set there's gonna be a nice little breakfast of some sort, so we'll see about that. And then hair and makeup, which is usually my favorite part of the day because there's a small chance of a face massage during hair and makeup. But it completely depends on the stylist and if they think that it benefits the model, which it benefits my soul, but I'm not sure if it makes me look any prettier. I think it does, helps with blood flow. That's what they'd say anyway. Hopefully, the bus I'm getting on is a double-decker bus. I think that's actually my bus that I'm missing. <laughs> but they're like every three minutes anyway, so. And I've just tripped over. Well, I'm nearly at the studio, but I've managed to go so long without any Stranger Things spoilers right, because I need to wait for Liara to get back to the UK to watch it with her. And on the bus, there was these, this, uh, these two young kids behind me who were going to school, and they were talking about all of it, dude. So, 
it's been officially spoiled for me. Just arrived at the studio. It's a huge studio. There's like 10 different studios in here. I think it's like a movie studio as well. I think I'm one of the first ones here, as usual. I'm always on time. This is more or less my perfect breakfast. Just protein, no carbs, and very tasty. Okay, we're just done with the fittings. Some stuff didn't fit, because they've got a big bottom, pretty much. And now it's time to go to grooming for hair and makeup, which I think is up here somewhere. I've got like 12 looks today, I think. Hey, hey ready I'm ready, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. okay. Okay, here. Time to make me look pretty. It's usually just a case of moisturizer, and that's usually it. If I've got any spots, they cover them. But I've been taking good care of my skin recently, so that's good. Good effort, Reese. And I wonder what they're gonna do with my hair. I'm guessing a comb over or messy in the front. Those are the, t the two go-to options, so let's see. Time for a little haircut. So. so you have a on your, your YouTube channel or something? Yeah, oh, I've been doing YouTube for like, God knows how many years now. Oh, you're doing a lot? 10, 10 years or something. Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah, I used to make a lot more videos. Oh, but yeah. I've, I've, but how, I've started how, doing it again. Right, right. Recently, yeah. How often do you update it? I'm going back to doing it once a week, at least. So where did you come from today? I came down from Middlesbrough yesterday. Middlesbrough? Yeah, oh. up north. Yeah. Oh. It's like a three hour train, it's not too bad though. Yeah, yeah. Is it near Newcastle or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh nice. It's very close to Newcastle. Do you always live in there? That's or? where my family are from, yeah. Oh, but okay. I, I lived in Dubai for like Dubai? five years, yeah. Oh, and wow. Switzerland, then Holland. Oh, wow. Why are you so. working, why are you working there? I studied in Dubai. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's TikTok time. <laughs> can I set the camera up somewhere for? Yeah, so we need the chair. Oh, okay. You're gonna be on the chair. I'll put it here. I can hold it if you want me to. Oh, can you? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So if you just kind of, yeah, start either looking diagonally or straight back and then see how far you can kick yourself around. Yeah, that was really good. No, that's good. That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Really good. <laughs> yeah, I know. When your legs are up in the air. <laughs> Shoot is going very well. I've done two looks out of the 12 I've got to do. Am I doing one photo for each look and then TikToks for each look? So there's the TikTok station as you've seen. So yeah. You know we're living in the future when you're filming TikToks on set. Okay, so I'm officially wrapped. It's like 4 p.m. I got all my looks done early and all my TikToks done. They weren't like normal TikToks, like I wasn't dancing. They were doing like fashion kind of advertising TikToks, so. So the plan now is I've got a friend that I play World of Warcraft with that I've never met in my life. He's at Wimbledon watching the tennis right now. So I was gonna try and go meet him for a, for a beer or something before I get my train back. So that's next on the agenda. Don't tell anyone, but I do tend to steal as many snacks from the set as possible for the travel home. So I've just said bye to the team. It was a lovely bunch of people, as usual. Uh, I had a lot of fun. The, the creative director and the photographer were very funny. And we needed a lot of energy for the photos. It was actually, funnily enough, it was a Christmas photo shoot. Again, one of the most recent times I've worked with this client, I was doing another Christmas kind of thing. So uh, thankfully there was no Michael Bublé playing. I would have lost my mind, I think, because I can barely deal with Christmas music when it's Christmas. But yeah, I'm now walking somewhere. I'm walking to uh, 
the metro line, which is like 20 minute walk away. I could get the bus, but I'm not really a fan of getting a bus for four stops. And I'm gonna get the early train back because I can't meet my friend today because he's at Wimbledon. And uh, Rafael Nadal's on and he got a good seat for that, which is understandable, but he's gonna come up and visit me in my town before he leaves the UK, which is gonna be a lot of fun. We'll go rock climbing or something, I'll probably record that. So yeah, I mean, it's a lovely day. Finished a little bit early and I get to get my early train. So I'm very happy about that. I'm very thankful for today. So, time to find a little snack to eat before I get on the train back. Even though I've got about a million <laughs> snack bars in my bag. And now I'm waiting to board my train, which is never announced. Every single train has their platform announced, other than mine. Which is usually the case for this specific Edinburgh train, which arrives last minute and then leaves instantly. So you need to sit like an owl waiting for it to be announced. has come to pick me up, which is very nice. So I guess this is gonna be the end of the video. There's my dad waiting for me there. And just like that, I am back in the motherland. Lovely arm with its lovely bridge and my lovely house. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this little London trip and the photo shoot. I'm quite happy that I got a lot of footage. Quite excited to edit this one. So I will see you next time. Mate.